What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over our first lesson in the Swift programming language. And Swift is an important language to learn because we need it to actually program native apps in iOS. And we will be using Xcode later, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm using a site called Replit. And of course, I will leave it in the description down below in case you are curious about following along with this video. And the first thing we will cover is how to type a comment. And this is usually written with two slashes followed by the comment itself. And this will be ignored by the compiler. Next, let's go ahead and create a variable by using the keyword var. And we're just going to call it name. And then we need to provide some text. And in this example, I'll be using code palace. So you just have to provide quotation marks and put the text you want inside. And in Swift, it is optional whether you want to use a semicolon or not. It just allows us to place multiple lines of codes on the same line, but it is completely optional. And if you don't place it, it's going to automatically insert it for us upon compilation. So do not worry about placing the semicolons. But up next, let's go ahead and create another variable called apples, and we're going to assign it the value of 10. Then, of course, we want to print these values to the console so we can see what they actually are. So in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and type in hello, add a space, a plus sign, and I'm going to insert the variable name of name plus an exclamation mark. So if we concatenate this string, once we print it, we're going to have hello, name, and the exclamation mark. But up next, I want to show you a smoother way to create a print statement. And this time we're going to print the apples but we're going to print that you have this amount of apples. So you have, and we're going to be using something that's called interpolation, which in Swift we can create by starting it with a backslash. And it's going to be followed by a pair of parentheses. And inside the pair of parentheses, we're going to be able to insert the variable name. So it's going to look something like this. We insert apples. And this is going to be the exact same equivalent to what we have above, except it looks a lot more clean and it's a lot easier to insert variable names. And finally, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-line comment, which is created by a slash, an asterisk, an asterisk, and another slash. And this just means that we can create as many comments as we want inside this block, and it will be ignored by the compiler, but it just makes it a lot easier than having to type a double slash each time we write a line of code. And as you can see here, I used it for the semicolon comment. But let's go ahead and run this program. And you should have printed to the console, hello, code palace, you have 10 apples, because those are the variables that I decided to use in this example. And of course, I also want to show you that we can do the same thing with the first print statement. We can use interpolation the same way as we did with apples. So let's go ahead and delete this sequence right here. And inside there, we're going to insert a backslash followed by a pair of parentheses. And inside there, we're going to insert the name. So upon compilation, we're going to have the exact same content printed to the console. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to show you in our first video with Swift. Definitely let me know how it went. In the next few videos, we're going to be covering everything you need to know about Swift for creating apps in iOS. But as always, guys, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.